Hello friends, Elena S. Blair here, and I am going to just go through how I would pick the images that I'm going to share for a sneak peek and edit them real quick because people have asked me for some editing stuff, and I do outsource my editing, but I usually edit most of the things that end up, um, most of my sneak peeks or what I put um, on social media, I often edit. So I have called down to 113 images. That's what I'm going to send off to the editor. I know that sounds like a lot. I give really big galleries unapologetically. And what I'm going to look for to share online is, um, for a sneak peek, are a set of images that are really true to my artistic style, but that the family is going to enjoy. So right now I'm just kind of looking through. I'm going to find about five of my favorite. And um, I really love these ones of dad and baby, so I think I'm going to take that one. And then I love, there was one over here. I shoot with two bodies and I didn't have it synced. <laughs> so they're not in, they're not in order. Yeah, I loved this one. See how, this is very me. Um, and that's what you want to think about when you're putting stuff online. It's got to really be what you're trying to attract. And then I'd like to grab one of mom and baby to put there. Oh, love these ones too. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of a big sucker for like major love in my images. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go try to grab one of mom and baby. And she, I had a bunch of her with this guy. Um, I think I want one of those. I don't know, I'm having a hard time. And you're just kind of seeing my thought process and that's kind of what I was hoping is that you would see what I'm thinking of when I go grab pictures. Ooh, I love that one. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it. I sometimes I'll grab one of just the child. Um, this is just, you know, one child family. Uh, because moms just adore, the families usually adore seeing like a great shot of their baby. This little bald dude, so cute. Uh, and we are so green in Seattle right now. Yeah, I think I'll go. Okay, so that's five, which is going to be a great social media share just for a little sneak peek. I will be honest with you that I don't always get around to sneak peeks these days. Um, I use social media for marketing, of course, but sneak peeks aren't always the most effective way to market, but I do try to do it when I can. So here they are. I'm in Adobe Bridge, and so I'm going to double click on them, and it's going to go right to, I have the Creative Cloud. It's going to go right to Camera Raw. Oops, like that. These are all shot with 100% natural light. Um, this is a mix of my 50 millimeter and my 135, which you can see what lens. This is the 50. That's the 50, 50, 50, 135. So only one of these guys. I love the 50. Um, all right, so all shot on auto white balance. These are straight out of camera. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and um, quick fix the things that I think need to be fixed. So I would like this to be a tiny bit warmer. So I'm going to warm it up. And... Um, and then I'm going to, oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Actually, I wanted to, but the exposure was actually just fine how it was. Came out of camera, great exposure. Cloudy day. I'm going to go up on the um, contrast a little bit. And if the greens are bugging you, some people, you know, this is where you can kind of mess with the greens a little bit. You can mess with them in the tint. So I'm going to go up on the magenta because that's, if you think of green, the opposite of green is magenta when you're thinking about the color palette of a photograph. So like super green. And so I'm going to go up a little bit like this. And I really actually like that enough. Now, um, what I'd like to do now is I'm going to select them all, all of the images that I've already, that I have here, and I'm going to sync them because I want them to be similar in white balance and all of that kind of stuff. And then I'll come in here and see what I need to do. Um, sometimes an individual image needs a little bit more. This guy, he's got a really bright head. So I'm going to be careful there. Um, and I'm going to look at this one. I like contrast. I'm a big fan of contrast. That's not everybody's cup of tea, but I like it. My edits are super clean and simple. So um, there's that. And this one I knew was going to be a little too bright. I'm going to bring that down. Okay. So now I'm going to select them all again. I'm going to go ahead and open them in Photoshop. And then I'm going to show you I have a quick action um, that I will run on all of them and I will save them and I will share them on social media for my families for my clients. Okay. So I'm a big fan of quick editing. So even if when I used to do my own editing, I was super fast. So I'm going to go file, automate, batch, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to find, I actually feel like I'm going to find my most recent clean color. You know what? Sorry guys, you're seeing my, um, my brain. 
So it's called Elena Clean Color. I'm going to just run it on all of them and I can show you what's going down with that action. And I'm going to make sure it looks good. So I'll, it, the action flattened it. So I'm going to unflatten. So all of this action is, is a levels layer. That is, this levels layer is bringing the contrast up just a little bit, so not very much. A curves layer, bringing up the midtones just a tiny bit, just to kind of brighten things up and, and kind of counter that contrast that I just added. And then another curves layer where I change the blending mode to soft light to really add that punch of contrast, which is something that I really, really like. Um, and that's it, you guys. That is all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to make sure that I like the way this looks. Um, like this one, I think I'm going to brighten up, oops, a little tiny bit with a curves layer. Um, and that's the thing. You just have to make sure that if you run an action like that, that it looks good on everything. That one just got a little dark. Too dark for me. Love that one. Love that one. Love that one. Okay, so I'm going to flatten this guy, the one that I fixed a little bit. And now I am going to run these guys into scripts and put them on my desktop. Use open images. I have a, a folder called sneak peeks on my desktop. Um, I want to make sure that they're going to be converted to sRGB quality 10. Make sure that they're JPEG and we're going to run these guys. And they're going to be zipped up there in that file or in that folder and I will be able to share them. Um, oh, you know what I didn't do? My bad. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. In this, uh, this is what happens sometimes when I teach. I forget. I forgot to resize for web. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. So I'm going to automate, I'm going to batch, and I have a resize for web action here that sharpens and resizes optimal for web. Um, sorry, I should have done that before, so that was my mistake. Now let's save these on my desktop. All right, I wanted to show you that my editing is super simple, and I hope that you guys all have a fantastic day.